What's going on you guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at some Yakun discs. So we're going to be putting these three discs up against some discs in my bag. Today we have, I'm going to absolutely butcher these names by the way, and I don't even know if it's Yakun disc, Yikin, however you say it, let me know down in the comments below. But we're going to butcher these names real quick. We have the TNC mid-range 4303 on that, so zone-like approach disc. Next we have a fairway driver, the Zhe, the Zhe, uh, nine five negative three point five point five. So it should be a nice flippy, flippy fairway driver. Man, the dome on this thing is super nice, and the profile, the way this looks, these are actually some nice discs, you guys. Next up, we've got the Fuzi, the foot, fu the fu I don't know how to say it. Probably should not be trying to say it like that. This is Glaze X plastic by the way. The zone-like approach disc is an in inner color. Um, numbers on this bad boy are 12, 6, negative 1, 2. This thing might actually be a bomber. So to compare today, I brought three discs of my own. We have the Jarn, the Yarn 4.5303. Next up for the Flippy Fairway Driver, I brought the H7 95 negative 41. Pretty similar to that, uh, what's it called, the Zhe. Pretty similar there. And then for my distance driver, I brought out the Cotton Candy Grace. So we're gonna be throwing those against my bag today. If I can't, if I can't beat my bag today, we're gonna to have to put those in the giveaway pile. So yeah, we're gonna get started out here. All the Baptist Church, a little nine hole course. Let's get right into it. Oh yeah, I also brought Pixels out to putt with cause, uh, cause I didn't buy a Yakun putter. So obviously do two off one. We're gonna throw the flippy fairways first. Try to get the nice turnover line. The basket is 450 feet down that way, way past the trash cans, towards the fence out there. It's a par four, so we're gonna get it started here. Let's see how flippy this guy is. Ooh, wait a minute. Nice turn. If that's not, if that's off the road, that might be in the prime position uh, for an easy birdie right there. That was a really good shot. Let's see if the AH7 can, uh, can compare to that. That thing actually held up pretty nice for a negative point, point three five. Try to throw that the same way. Oh, it's never coming out of that. Come on, H7. Yeah, it's way on the concrete down there. We're gonna go two off one, throw these distance drivers as well. Throw this thing on a bit of a forehand real quick. 12, six, negative one, two. Plastic actually feels really good, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. That thing's actually nice and torque resistant. I decided to give it a little bit of beans, see if it would uh, flip over at all, and did not. That thing just went nice and straight, a little bit of fade at the end. I like that a lot. I'm probably gonna end up throwing these things better than my drop, my discs today. I got that feeling. Yep, we definitely are. I think I'm OB on both my shots. <laughs> okay, both of my real discs are out of bounds. It's not looking good for me today. It's not looking good. So to keep it somewhat fair, I'm going to alternate on the tee. So next tee shot, we'll be throwing my discs first, and then we'll be throwing the Kuhn disc. Can't believe I threw OB on both of my drives. Pretty funny. Oh my goodness, this is wet. So I haven't been posting lately, guys, since Hawaii. Uh, I actually was pretty sick coming back. I don't know, I guess I caught something on the way back from Hawaii, but you can, you can probably still hear it in my voice a little bit. So I've been, been recovering from that. Yesterday we had a bad storm. I was gonna come out here and make this video. And we had a pretty big storm yesterday, so didn't get a chance to come out here. But yeah, we're out here today. We're gonna be trying to get right back into a uh, normal schedule, a few videos a week. Man, these Yakun discs. Let me go see if that other one's in bounds or not. All right, this being my first drive of the day, and is probably one of the best drives I've ever had on this hole, is uh, interesting. H7's way over there. It never, it never came out of the turn. It's not looking good for my disc so far, taking this OB stroke here. Probably going to end up giving up, giving away some Yakun disc or adding them to the giveaway pile. So if you guys don't know about the giveaway pile, it's this pile of discs that I've got back at home. I do giveaways every so often and I let my subscribers pick from this pile. We're going to be adding a Calvin Heinberg signed Vela to the pile for the 1K, for the 1000 subscriber giveaway. So make sure you guys are subscribed to, uh, to keep up with that. Wow, went a little bit long in the pin there, but uh, that was a very nice approach. Hopefully we can save the par from that. This approach disc actually looks pretty freaking cool. It has like the stamp on the underside. 
not sure exactly what that is or which way it even is supposed to go. Maybe that way. I don't know. If you guys know what that is, let me know down in the comments. T and she. Hopefully this thing is stable. Oh, it is. Woo. Good little spot for a birdie there. It's actually more stable than I than I thought it would. I thought it would be a little bit straighter, but for a base plastic, that thing is pretty overstable. So it's pretty promising to see that T and she hold up to a nice forehand flick because uh, it's pretty much the exact shot we're gonna have to do on this next hole. Um, and I was a little bit scared that it would flip over on me. Something about base plastic zones, like the temple, things like that, like from Thought Space, they hold up to a lot of torque. Now, a base plastic zone, no, it's not gonna hold up. It's not gonna hold up like that. It's gonna be a nice straight zone for you. Anyway, let's make these putts. T and she for the birdie. Ah, for the Yakun birdie. Come on now, hold on to the disc. Yakun birdie. And my bag for the par. Sweet. Only lost one stroke there. If I'd missed that putt, would have not been good. Moving on hole two. See if we can't get one back on it. It's weird seeing water in this thing. You guys hear those frogs or whatever they're there? They're all ow, ow. Ow. <laughs> what? Sound like a Minecraft villager. Okay, like I said earlier, we're gonna be doing alternating tee shots. So even though the Yakun disc got the birdie, we're gonna be throwing the yarn first. This hole here is about 220 feet. Just a nice little flick through the triple mando. And the basket's right there to the right. You guys can see it. Get past the tree. Ah, oh, hit the tree. That's all right, though. Still not a bad spot. Let's see if this uh, Yakun T and she can go a little bit straighter. This thing feels really nice. Like, kind of feels like a low profile zone, like a thin zone. I mean, this thing feels really nice in the hand. And you guys know I like my base plastic approach discs. I uh, swung it out a little too wide and not high enough, but it definitely did push straighter before having a nice fade. So it's not as overstable as the yarn, but it's also in a base plastic. So what do you expect? This might be the one opportunity we get to uh, get a stroke back on the Yukun discs. Now I am going to say that I've got to beat the Yukun discs outright. So really I've got to get two strokes to even be winning here. If I tie with the Yukun discs, we still got to put them in the giveaway file. Okay. So. Apparently the Yakun disc fought back a little harder than I thought because uh, I've been sitting here looking for it over there. It's right here. So this might be a birdie as well. Let's see if we can't, can't put it in there. Ah, a little low, a little low putt today. Come on, this, this yarn can uh, take advantage here. Oh, barely got it in, but we're in. Got our stroke back on the Yakun boys. So I got this upper park pinch pro for my Hawaii trip to bring as a carry on. By the way, served great for that. Holds a lot of discs, really versatile. You can put discs everywhere. You can kind of put the bag how you want it to be. Show you guys how I have it set up right now. So this is just kind of like my review setup. I got the discs that I need, my water bottle, camera stuff, my microphone stuff in this pocket. I've got towel, um, phone, keys, wallet, and stuff in this side. And that's really all I need to carry when I'm coming out here making a video. This might, this might actually replace my Rebel. Not all the time, but for casual rounds, I'm probably going to be carrying this thing because it's so light. Uh, and it holds a lot of discs, like I said. I mean, you can still, I can still pack my entire bag in this thing and my water bottle. And it feels lighter than the than the uh, the rebel. I don't know, guys. If you guys want to pick up a Pinch Pro, go check the link in the description to get 15% off. Yakundis has the box. This hole it's about 280 feet straight down there, just behind those trees out there. Typically, I would throw my Halo Dynasty on this hole, something nice and straight out to the right, have it just fade in right behind that tree. We're gonna kind of do the same play here with these, but just throw them on a little bit more hyzer. Flip. Get past the tree. Okay, I put that on a lot of hyzer, but kind of thought it would flip a little bit more. Um, it's not as flippy as my H7, which you guys will see here. Okay, put that on maybe more hyzer. Also, I threw it straight at it, but you guys could see it flip. If I threw that to the right where I was supposed to throw it, that would have actually been a very good throw. But you could see how that one flipped up all the way and went straight 
whereas the Yukun kind of held the hyzer a bit more. Still flipped up, but held the hyzer a bit more. Just outside the circle with the Yukun. Oh, that tree just did me so dirty. I actually think that I might have made that putt. H7's on the fence here. We're going to take a little step off. Go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We ain't giving away no Yakun disc today, baby. Honestly, I think this putt would have went in and had this tree not hit it. That's really unfortunate for the Yakun disc. Whew. That was a nice putt. Feel pretty good about that. So we're on track to keep my discs right now. We just got to, uh, we just got to hold it down. My discs have the box. This hole's pretty hard to film. I've actually got you guys like on the tee pad with me, zoomed out. So we're gonna do a little standstill hold forehand here. It's just right there, 170 feet. Oh, go a little further than that. Shorted that a little bit, but we should be nice. We should be in a nice spot. There we go. That one should be way better. Yeah. Should be a couple of birdies there. Definitely left a little meat on the bone for the yarn here. We're gonna have to make a putt. The tee and she's pretty, pretty much parked there. We're in the circle here. Let's see what we can do. Shouldn't have said that because now I'm gonna miss it. Oh, I thought that would stay, dude. <laughs> I know it would have been super lucky if that stayed, but I really wanted it to stay. All right, you're looking good for the Yukun disc again. Oh man, we're tied up again. Whew. It's a close one here. It's a close one here, boys. So right now, if we just get pars and everything else, still got to give these discs away. So we got to get some birdies. So I hope you guys enjoy this kind of content. Um, I really would like to do more videos like this where I just go out and play with some discs. This is the kind of this is the type of videos I like to do. Obviously, I like doing the review videos for you guys as well, showing you guys how discs fly for us amateur players. But I really miss just coming out here and playing disc golf with you guys, honestly. That's the kind of the videos I like to do, guys. So if you guys do enjoy this video, let me know down in the comments. I plan on doing more like this. Of course, I still want to do the reviews and stuff so that you guys can see how I throw the disc and how discs fly for those amateur, slightly nose up, hyzer players, right? Because that's totally me all day. I would love to do this style of content. So let me know if you guys enjoy it. We got hole five here. It's about 260 feet down there. We're gonna throw these drivers on a bit of a forehand this time because we haven't been throwing these really. Yeah, I just feel like throwing a forehand out there. Probably not the right hole for drivers, but we're gonna throw them anyway. Crank that one over a little bit. Come on, fade back, skip. Ah, we're a little left of the pin. We should be okay there. I think we might be pin high. Let's see how this grace does. I think this grace might be a little bit more overstable than that. Yeah, see that grace has no flip at all that grace is kind of beefy you're not gonna lie that one ended up being right of the pin so we got two different looks there slightly outside the circle putt for the grace here yakun disc actually stayed in the circle so we'll see come on oh my gosh what is going on with me today i do not normally putt like this i don't know what is going on i just really don't want to give away a yakun disc i guess i i don't know i swear i don't normally putt like this Come on. Oh man, that one sucked. I swear I'm not doing this on purpose, you guys. I really don't care if I give these discs away or not. I kind of want to put them in the giveaway pile for you guys. This one here might actually do the same exact shot that I did on the last hole. It's the same distance here, 260 feet. Might just throw these drivers again on a forehand. I really like this driver because it's not as overstable. Uh, it's really like a negative one one, like a pretty neutral 12 speed. I really like it. Holds up to torque too. Interesting. Grace is turning to shine. Here we go. See, so Grace, I know I can crank over a little bit. Oh, please don't go, B. Okay, we're good. We're good. I think we're parked. There's uh, out of bounds, like 15 feet behind the basket. So you got to be kind of careful there. But uh, I think we're good. This Yakun disc, if I crank it over like that, might not, might not come out. It might not be that torque resistant. I knew that Grace is really overstable. It's pretty much brand new. We're gonna try to throw this thing a little flatter. Look at that flip up. Dude, that thing is nice. Oh, that's so OB though. Oh my gosh, I'm so long with that disc. Pretty sure this Yakun disc, the Fuxi, or whatever that driver's called, is a bomber. We're gonna throw it out there in the field one time and uh, get, a, get a distance measurement. 
I really want to see how that thing flies on a, on a nice backhand power shot. My disc, Grace, is pretty much parked. Yakun disc is right here. So we're going to take it out like here or whatever. Do get a meter in. So it should be a nice par putt here. And I barely make it. And mine for the birdie. Barely made that one as well. Too bad this thing pushed a little too far and went out of bounds. Yakun disc goes really far though. That go far. Very easily. Very nice. It's not looking good for Yakun disc at the moment. But still anybody's ball game. Anything could happen. Could go right. Could go a B on this hole. This hole is 215 feet down there. OB left and right. So yeah, just throw something. I kind of throw a forehand out wide over the road generally with a Firebird. But we don't have a Firebird today. So we're gonna be throwing these guys, the approach disc, and just uh, putting them on a lot of hyzer. Yakun's got the box. Oh gosh, that was bad. Skip though. Ooh, nice skip. That was very favorable for how bad that throw was. That should that should work back. Yeah. Oh man, I think we're parked again with the yarn. Whoopsie. Kind of smoking these Yakun discs right now. Maybe they're just trash. I don't know. No, actually they feel really good. The plastic feels nice. They look cool and uh, they're PDJ approved. So I see no reason why you shouldn't get them. Some guy just started a lawnmower right next to me. Hold on. But yeah, I've got nothing bad to say about these discs. They're flying really nice. Just getting pretty lucky with some putts today. Let's see if we can't get it. Let's see if we can't get one with the Yakun disc here. <clears throat> Make a good putt. Ah. Uh, I swear it's not sabotage. See, the yarn is absolutely parked here. I'm going to hit it with a little bag on putt. So I don't think there's going to be any coming back for the Yakun discs, unfortunately. We've got a three-stroke lead on them right now. But we've got a pretty easy par four here. So if I can eagle it with the Yakun disc and maybe go out of bounds or something with the H7, we might have a look here. Let's go uh, H7 first. Basket is 360 feet down there. We should be able to get the eagle. We just got to miss some trees. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That turns. Oh, that might be OB. No, no, no. It could be OB. Could have found the OB long. I'm not sure. Did not. It, it, I thought it would keep turning, to be honest. Okay. Well, if we can get the eagle with this cocoon disc, might have a chance. Oh, my gosh. Why do I do that when I try to throw hard or throw it low? That was so bad. Dude. Still got a chance. My H7 could be out of bounds over there. I don't know. We're gonna upshot with this uh, T and she. See if we can't still get a birdie. Go, push. We'll have a putt from there. It's not gonna be a tap in, but we'll have a putt. All right, H7's out here for the Eagle. About a 70 footer. See if we can't do it. <clears throat> oh <laughs> dude that was so close nah that's not it oh what was that what's that brother Ooh, brother Ooh. Uh, i swear i'm not doing this on purpose i don't know these acune discs are getting kind of slayed right now though all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this one. There's no point in me really playing the last hole because I've got like a four-stroke lead on the Yakun disc. These things are actually not bad at all. Just because I annihilated them today, these things are not bad. Love the plastic on these guys. They feel really good. Nice premium plastic. I love the colors on these things. This black and purple one is absolutely fire. A little bit hard to see, not going to lie. It's kind of hard to find in the grass, but looks absolutely fire. This yellow and blue one here, literally, look at this. It looks green when you spin it. It turns green when <laughs> when it's spinning. I mean, that's that's super cool. We're gonna throw these out there on some backhand drives real quick to see if we can get a hold of them. Even though I ended up beating them, we'll probably still end up adding this Zhe to the giveaway pile. So if you guys are interested in the Zhe, make sure you guys are subscribed for the thousand su subscriber giveaway. We're gonna be giving away 10 prizes. So make sure you guys are subscribed for that. Go with this Fuxi first. Nice little turn out of it. Slightly nose up, pretty typical. Probably went about 380, something around there. Let's see what this Zhe does. Wow, I threw that on a lot of hyzer, straight up. 
and it's just gonna spike and stall. Very trash throw. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you wanna win that Z heat at a thousand subscribers. So we'll see y'all next time, peace.